I made this pumpkin using only paper and in this video I will show you how you can do it yourself. So what you will need, a balloon, white glue, a brush, a bowl, a clip, scissors or a knife, some tape, a thin cord, some paper towel, water and a like on this video. First you need to blow the balloon but don't make a knot yet. You will instead twist the neck and clamp it with a clip. You now need a small piece of tape and a piece of cord long enough to go all around the balloon. Tape the cord on the bottom of the balloon and then make the cord go all around the balloon and tie a knot on the top. Make it double. Cut off the excess cord and then tape the cord on the both sides of the balloon. And this is what the first cord looks like. We can now repeat this entire process with the second cord but at 90 degrees from the first one. Once again, this is what it should look like. We can now repeat this entire process two more times but in between the cord that's already on the balloon. And this is what we have at the end. It's now time to remove the clip carefully. Pinch the neck with your fingers and remove the clip. You will now slowly and carefully blow the balloon until you get the shape of a pumpkin. When you're satisfied with the shape, tie a knot around the neck. And this is how you turn a balloon into a pumpkin. It's now time to prepare the glue for the papier mache. It doesn't need to be precise, but keep in mind that it should be two thirds glue, one third water. And after mixing everything up, you can prepare your paper sheets. What you see me doing is cutting long strips of paper, just like this. With all my straps ready, we can now start the glue up. You first need to apply a good amount of glue on the balloon. You need to apply glue everywhere where the paper is going to be in contact with the balloon. This next step is really important. You really need to apply a lot of glue onto the paper. The entire stripe of paper towel needs to be wet. If you see a dry spot, apply glue on it. You can then apply a second stripe. And don't forget, it's better to put too much glue than not enough. Don't apply paper on this area. This is the bottom of our pumpkin. This will be important for our next step. My first layer of papier mache is now finished. As you can see, I didn't put paper on the bottom. It's now time to let the paper dry. We are the next day, the pumpkin is completely dry. This morning when I woke up, the first layer was dry, but I wanted to make it a little bit stronger, so I decided to put another layer. And the second layer is now dry, and as you can see, it's pretty hard, it's pretty strong. So we can now go on to the next step, which is to remove the balloon from the inside. We will then add the tail of the pumpkin. Once the tail is dry, it's gonna be time for designing our scary pumpkin. We now need to poke a small hole into the balloon. Using the tip of the scissors, gently cut up the balloon. The goal here is to slowly deflate the balloon so that the shape stays. As you can see, the balloon is completely deflated. We can now remove the balloon and the cords. And we are now left with our papier mache in the shape of a pumpkin. We now need to close the hole on the top where the neck of a balloon was. While this patch up is drying up, we can go on to the next step. Using some paper towels, I will now prepare the tail of the pumpkin. I will now cover my paper towels with some aluminum foil. You could also skip the paper towel part and only use aluminum foil. This is what you end up with. You see me now shave the aluminum foil to make it look like the tail of the pumpkin. Thank you. 
It's now time to cover the tail with paper mache. This time I'm dipping the entire paper into the glue. It's more messy, but it's easier to apply. And this is our pumpkin tail. Once everything is dry, we can now attach the tail to the pumpkin. In order to attach the tail to the pumpkin, I will use this hot glue gun. You don't need too much of it. Once you find the right position of the tail, we need to make the bond between the tail and the pumpkin even stronger. So using small pieces of paper, you need to apply half of the paper on the tail and the rest onto the pumpkin. Make this all around the tail to make sure that it's sturdy. Once you are finished, this is how it looks like. So while we wait for the tail to dry up, leave a thumbs up on this video. It's now time to design the look of our pumpkin, where we're gonna put the eyes and the mouth. This is the part when you can let your imagination take over. To cut out my shapes, I will be using a precision knife and a small pair of scissors. If you use the precision knife, you need to be careful. Even if a pumpkin is sturdy, it's still paper. We don't want to mess up the shape. Our scary pumpkin is slowly starting to take shape. Are you ready to see the scary result? <laughs> Finally, the last step. Obviously, pumpkins are orange, but somehow I didn't have orange paint. That's why I'll be mixing yellow with a little bit of red. So, while I'm painting, a little disclaimer. Don't use a real candle for your pumpkin. Of course, I have to say it, it's paper. If you put a real candle inside, everything is gonna burn and it can be dangerous. What I recommend instead is to use any kind of flashlight. I think I'm done. Wanna see the result? 